Yo, what's up, YouTube? It's your boy Chuck coming to y'all another video, man. You see, by the title, I'm be showing y'all the new best shooting and playmaking budget in Mid 2K22. Told y'all, coming back to back with bangers, man. I told you, I'm back. There was gonna be more uploads, obviously. I'm not, not, come on, man. Before we get into this video, though, man, make sure you like the video, subscribe to my channel, turn on the post notification, never miss a stream or upload. We're gonna keep dropping these videos back to back, man. And yeah, alright. So, first thing first, we're gonna hop straight into this. Boom. Finishing bad, obviously. I thought that on them. Let's take off me. I Obviously, when you go into the hole, you will want to get that boost, but I'm saying, what else would you possibly throw on? Really, it's finisher on, on a play shot, though? Like, let me just take off, though. All right, for the shooting, we got Blinders Hall of Fame. Obviously, like, you, you know about this badge. It's obviously the one of the best badges in the game. Top three at that. Top three shooting for sure. We got Dead Eye. Obviously, we know how Dead Eye works. Testic City. Uh, obviously. You know what I'm saying? All right, we got Chef on Bronze. I feel like the highest probably have it. Probably like Silver or Gold. But I got it on Bronze. I feel like it still worked for me. But yeah, got Bronze. Chef. All right. Bronze Clutch Shooter. With this one, you don't have to upgrade it to no Silver or Gold. Old Hall of Fame, you leave it on bronze, it's gonna activate at 15 points regardless of what tier it's on. You feel what I'm saying? So, yeah, man, you can have this on bronze, silver, gold, Hall of Fame, but save yourself some points and just put it on bronze. I promise you it's gonna work. Just test it out one game with just bronze and you tell me if it works. I, I know it works. I use it just like this. I've been using it like this for, for a few, I think, since 20 or 21. One of one of them. That's all I know. Grand Machine on bronze. I can upgrade this to silver, gold, Hall of Fame. It don't matter. I feel like it still works. I know how to shoot on this game. Like, you feel what I'm saying? I know how to shoot. So, regardless of what it is, I'm going green regardless of what tier the green machine on. Some of y'all may need Hall of Fame Green Machine. But me personally, I, I got on bronze. I saved myself a lot of badge points. And yeah, bronze hot zone. Same thing, like I said. I got hot spots, but I feel like you don't need to have this on no gold or Hall of Fame for it to work as much as it do on bronze. You know what I'm saying? Maybe I'm wrong, but me personally, from what I've experienced on this game, I don't need, I don't need no gold hot zone. Yeah. Mitch Match on Hall of Fame, obviously one of the one top three shooting badges. Like I said, this is another one. Another top three shooting badge right here. Shooting over a taller defender, you just shooting over in general. Like, you just shoot over those, really, regardless of what it is. And we got Sniper on Hall of Fame. This is the last top three shooting badge right here. This Sniper. No matter, you can, it's White City, literally. All you gotta do is have on Sniper. You gonna be hitting whites. Like, I don't understand why they tried to make the shooting so easy. Then added Sniper at that. Like, bro, that, that had to be the dumbest thing 2K ever done. Alright, um, stop and pop. Hall of Fame, too. Obviously, stopping and popping. So it's not really nothing much more to say about this bad. I just got it on Hall of Fame just because I could throw in certain, like, some other stuff. You know, I don't know, man. Alright, for the playmaking badges, though. Boom, I got Bullet Passer on gold. I could put it on Hall of Fame. I probably, y'all probably like, why you don't got it on Hall of Fame? Is that I don't need it on Hall of Fame. For one, that, that just, just what it is. I still, I'm a guard at the end of the day. So me, my pass is gonna be quick regardless. So I just put it a tear down on gold. It ain't nothing too, not that serious. I just had to make sure I get all my, my dribbling badges for sure. Like all them on Hall of Fame for sure, except for Hyperdrive. But like, you know, but yeah, we got Hunters for Days on Hall of Fame. We know this is one, one of the best way making badges it is. Helping you say all that stamina. Like, you don't get tired as quick home. Um, we got hyperdrive on goal. Obviously, you see helping grease your uh, dribble skills while on the move. Like, is you dribbling? It just help you out. Especially if you know how to combo already. If you knew how to dribble, it's just gonna help you out even more. But yeah, we got quick chain on Hall of Fame. Obviously, quick moves together. So you should, you should get the picture of what, what they talking about with this. Um, quick first step on Hall of Fame. Obviously, one of the best badges in the game, literally. If you ain't got this badge, you're gonna be slow. You, you can tell the difference. So you're dropping it from gold, silver, or bronze. Like, you can tell the difference. Hall of Fame, it helps out a lot. Tight handles on, on Hall of Fame. But this one right here, you stun your opponent with a certain type of move. It don't like tight handles is a top tier badge, especially a playmaker badge like that. Like, if we ranking them top tier is up there. Like tight handles is one of the best badges. Bad, I can't even talk right now. That's why I'm good the badge is, man. But yeah, tight handles on, on gold, not gold, but sound chipping, man. On Hall of Fame, yeah. Unpluckable on bronze, you get the picture with that. I feel like at the most probably have it on is silver. But like you putting it on gold Hall of Fame, you just wasting badge points because really unpluckable really don't work though we're not gonna talk about that though yeah last but not least the defensive badges i get nine some of y'all may get less some of y'all may get more it's all what your build depends on 
All right, we got Chase Down on Bronze. I don't need Chase Down on Silver, Gold, or Hall of Fame. Even if I, I only get max it out to go up, but Bronze worked perfectly fine for me. I be getting hella Chase Down. I get the boost, so when I'm chasing them down, I get the boost to block the shot. That's how I be getting so many Chase Downs. We got Clamps on, on Silver. Ain't got really too much to say about Clamps. You know what it is. Talk to your bad for the defense. Except though on silver, I feel like you can have it at the lowest is silver, bro. <laughs> Literally, the lowest is silver. Gold or Hall of Fame is top tier in the set. Right here. Timber that on bronze. I mean, I would put it higher. It depends. I'll be working my I, mean, I adjust them a lot. It depends on what I'm playing, what I'm trying to do. If I'm trying to straight, I'm gonna put on really the good defensive back. I'm just messing around here. See, I got pickpocket on gold and it's just what it is, man. You see, I got pickpocket on gold. I'm just testing it out just to see what tier. But I feel like pickpocket on silver is the best. So that's just me personally. I'm gonna keep it on gold. Anyways, man, with that being said, if you made it to the end of the video, man, make sure you like the video. Subscribe to my channel. Turn on the post notification. I'm stream or upload. We're gonna keep dropping these videos back to back, man. Make sure you subscribe to my channel. Some of y'all just click on the video and don't even subscribe, man. Like, hey, what's the point? It's free. So, yeah, that being said, man, we're up out of here. We gone.